Everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Knives 101. Wait, what? See, Prepared Knives 101 is like this little thing when people want to complain that I'm doing too many knife reviews and not enough preparedness reviews. Well, guess what, people? I am eyeballs deep in new blades right now, and I'm expecting more. Hopefully tomorrow, like big ones that I'm waiting for. But it's a couple days before Christmas, and it's getting busy around here, so before I skedaddle out of here for, yes, I just said skedaddle. You've said it before. Don't act like you haven't. But before I do that and go away for a couple days so we can do like some family holiday stuff, I wanted to give you a sneak peek at a couple things that are coming up. I have with me here all three of the new Firecraft knives from White River, which I showed those in the, uh, the Blade Show video that we did uh, earlier in the summer. I was really excited about. And then I also have a rather large Bark River here to show you. So these won't be the, the reviews. It'd be kind of like more of a unboxing, check this thing out, first impressions without the actual box being involved at all. So if you want to check these things out, don't go away. Okay, starting with the Firecraft knives. If you want to check these out, I'm going to have links in the description box below. They do have a Facebook group if you want updates and all that stuff. I don't know if they are yet on the White River website, but I believe you can contact them right now if you're interested in it. Hope that's correct. But uh, I know they just got the whole first run done. That's why I actually have these in my hand. Let's start with the smallest one. And this particular one here, I don't know if this one always comes with this sheath or they just kind of mixed it up to, so I had some options to show you. But starting off with the FC4, uh, this one has a Kydex sheath, tech lock, fire steel loop. This one's going to uh, Joe at Farrell Woodcraft. He's actually going to do the field uh, test on this one. Now what's cool about these knives is it's a good steel, but not a steel that you commonly see with, you know, outdoor survival bushcraft type knives. It's S30V. So here's this one with the four inch blade. Couple, at least one subtle difference that I notice right off the bat from uh, the ones that I handled at Blade Show is they added this, this little groove here specifically for fire steels. It does have a polished metal bow drill divot. I've got the natural green, it looks like a green micarta, orange scale or orange liners. Got a very interesting handle. I like the handle. I don't know if everybody will like the handle, but I like the handle. It's a high saber grind. Came with a really freaking sharp edge. So, I've been, I've been excited to try these things out ever since I handled them. So, I'm really looking forward uh, to this test. So, there is the FC4. That's the smallest one. Now, the next one is the one that is my favorite, and that is the FC5. Now, this one has a modular leather sheath. So, it is a dangler, but you can take that off in case you want to scout carry it. The way that the sheath wraps around the handle but it's exposed so that you can still have the sheath on and use that bow drill divot. I suspect as does Will when he looked at this that you, you know if you're doing it that way you probably will chew up the leather a little bit going through there but still a pretty cool idea. I like the way that uh, the snaps are on this. It's a lot different than what you usually see. So there's the five, just a little bit bigger than the four. One inch bigger, in case you're not good at math. Again, S30V, high saber, all that stuff's pretty much gonna be the same across the line. 
just three different sizes of the knife. But yeah, this is this is the one that I really like. The handles are a little square, but I still like it. Let's see how that goes when I'm actually using the knife, which will probably be, I don't know if I'll get to this one between uh, Christmas and New Year's, but it'll be pretty quick. If not, it'll be right after the New Year. So there's this one, and then there's one more that is actually a seven inch blade. So let's check that one out. So then we got the FC7, which is the larger one of the bunch. Same style sheath as the one I just showed, the SC, SC5, but this one has a seven inch blade. Same handle. So this one's definitely going to do a little bit more on the batoning end. You know, being that it's a seven inch blade, I mean, what I'm used to for seven inch blades is, you know, like the original Jessica, the BK7. Definitely feels a lot different than that. Maybe because the handle is a bit smaller than the Becker, but that does make the knife feel pretty light and manageable. Um, I'm wondering how like the traditional bushcrafter guys are going to feel about this handle when you know they go to do all their crazy different maneuvers and all that stuff. As far as me, I do like that that choil in the handle. It feels good. Definitely secure. And it's cool. It's definitely a different uh, a lot different than what I'm used to seeing especially since they used uh, S30V for the steel. So there is that and they do come with small ferro rods. I'll have to see what other sizes actually fit in that. I don't know. So really excited to try these out. I've never used like an S30V knife like out in the woods. I know it's got pretty good edge retention, but it might actually be a better choice for people that live in more wet environments. They're worried about any kind of rust or something like that. I mean, obviously it's not a stainless steel, but you know, it's powdered super steel. It's going to be a little bit more corrosion resistant. So that's going to be fun to check that out. So there's that. Uh, stay tuned for those. I know a lot of people were asking me about those when they're going to come out. So I just got them in. I got a bunch of stuff in in the last couple of days. I just figured I would give you a quick look at some of the big things. So there's those. Uh, links and all that stuff. Uh, Extra info is going to be in the description box below, but wait, there's more. I actually got those yesterday. So I got something else today, which is just absolutely crazy. So don't run off just yet. Check this thing out. So for you guys that like something a little bit bigger, a little bit more crazy looking, and you like bark rivers, well, today I got my hands on the Bark River Moro Barong. So it does come with a leather... Uh, shoulder strap which I haven't messed with that yet uh, definitely have not broken in this I mean this is fresh out of the box so I haven't put any leather oil or protectant or anything on this yet so by the time I get to the video sheets gonna be a lot more broken it's gonna be darker it's gonna look pretty cool but let's take a look at the blade <laughs> so <laughs> check that out So A2 steel, it's got some pretty cool looking fullers in it. Thing is stupid sharp. Awesome handle. See, Mike knows me now. He knows if he's gonna send me something to make it black my carta. <laughs> but yeah, I love this. This handle is great. You might see something similar to this here in the near future. I thought I kept hearing something. It was like this high-pitched thing. It was like, is this thing like a glow blue when haters are around or something? But yeah, I mean, look at that is just crazy. I cannot wait to swing this thing around and wreck some stuff and see what this thing will do. So that's fun. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, there. 
there's more stuff than that. I said, I'm still waiting on dark timbers. I'm still uh, got some other things coming in and just a whole bunch of slew of things. It's like, ugh, it's gonna be busy. This is why I can't go to SHOT Show because SHOT Show, aside from the whole email fiasco, that overloads you just even more. I got plenty of stuff on my desk to get to here in the near future. But this is fun. I definitely, I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's got some heft to it. What do you think? Should I, uh, should I let Tack play with this after I'm done with it? I know somebody's going to suggest it, so, hmm. Might have to do that. That would definitely be fun. I like watching him go all freaking Fruit Ninja on those trees with the big blades. But, yeah, we got to get, get it done here first, so. Definitely pretty cool. So any details on this will be in the description box below as well. So say hi to the shed. Say Merry Christmas to the shed. So, still ugly as hell, but I ain't going to paint it. It's not mine. So, why should I? Besides, it, it gives a little bit of character. See, like LT's got the pout house. I got the shed. Actually, I think LT got the idea for the pout house from the shed. I think he scoped this out before I even moved here. I don't know. Could be. But there's a whole bunch of new cool blades to check out. Uh, reviews will be coming up on that here uh, sometime after Christmas, Christmas, New Year. You know, you know how it is. This is just a crazy time of year. So you got you to gotta do the family thing and all that. But I definitely wanted to give you guys a quick look at these. This sheath is awesome, too. Just... I was, I was sitting, there's always like a trick to a Bark River sheath. I was sitting here like, okay, what's the trick now? Well, you gotta, you gotta be careful with the little thing on the back. Pull that away. So yeah, big, big, nice sheath and all these D rings definitely gonna give it a lot of different options for how you wanna carry this thing. So that's all I got for right now. Stay tuned, I'll be back sometime next week. Might have a couple extra days off. I don't know. We'll see how that works. But hope you guys all have a uh, good Christmas, good holiday, and have fun with the family. I hope you get lots of knives. I hope you get some Jess X's under the tree. I mean, come on. They're only 53 bucks. Everybody needs one. You know, get your Jess X love in now because 2017 is going to be the year of the Vengeful One and the Dev X. So those are going to be fun. All right, guys, Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.